Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can verify your PlayStation 5 account. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on the PlayStation 5 and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here, as you can see guys, you're going to find your games and applications. Right here, if you go to the game library, you're going to find all of your installed games right here. Here in the left, you're going to find PlayStation Plus and also PlayStation Store. And right here in the top, you're going to find your games, media. Here you're going to find search settings. And lastly, right here, you're going to find your profile icon. So basically, guys, right now, if you want to verify your PlayStation 5 account, firstly, go ahead and click on settings. And then once you do that, you're going to be here in this page. Basically, guys, right here. You're going to find all of these settings here. You're going to find accessibility, network, users and account, family and parental control, system, storage, sound and so on. Go ahead and click on users and account. And then once you do that, right here, you're going to find all of these sections. Here you're going to find account, family, privacy, linked services, authorized apps and so on. Go ahead and click on account. And then first of all, you can check your email address from here. If you click on sign in ID, you're going to find your current email address. You can also change it if you want. Just remove this one and replace it with the new email address. Here, address, you're going to find security if you click on it. Right here, as you can see, guys, you can add the sign in with passkey option to add some security to your profile. Here, you're going to find the option to add the two step verification using your mobile number. You can also add security question. From here, you can change your password by adding your current password new and confirm your new password and lastly from here you can add two-step verification as you can see guys you can either use use it by the authenticator app or a text message on your phone so this is it guys for today's video thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video